It's math time, our last lesson of the day. Before we get started with our subtraction, I want you to go back to our thinking cards. I'm going to quickly show you a tin frame and I want you to say how many dots you see. I'll start off easy and then it'll get hard. Ready? How many do you see? Two. How many do you see? Three. How many do you see? Five. How many do you see? Four. How many do you see? Five. Quickly, how do you see the five? Three on one side, two on the other. Three and five, or three and two, make five. Good, last one. How many do you see? Three. Good job. Now boys and girls, we're gonna go ahead and get started with subtraction. Remember, subtraction means to take away. There's one song that I love to sing that we use to take away our fingers when something happens. Do you remember the song, Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed? We're gonna sing that together. And when one monkey falls off the bed, we'll put a finger down. Here we go. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So if I have five and one fell off, how many monkeys are left? One, two, three, four. Remember when you're subtraction, remember when you're subtracting, there's always going to be less. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So another one fell off and now we have three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now, how many monkeys are jumping on the bed? Did you notice that our number kept getting smaller and smaller and we were putting a finger down when one fell off the bed? Last one. One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, put those monkeys right to bed. So now there were zero monkeys left jumping on the bed. The doctor told him they better go to sleep. So kindergartners, just how we did the song Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed, we're going to use our fingers to help us with our subtraction. Subtraction means to take away. So if I have, oh, and yesterday we practiced with five. I'm gonna make that number a little bit bigger. We're gonna go up to 10 today. So I have three and I wanna take away two. So if my problem is three, take away two, what should I do? Start with three fingers and then take away two. To take away, I can put them down. One, two. How many's left? One, that's right. Three, take away two, is one. Now, we're 
we're going to do seven, take away five. Ready? Seven, that's your number. That's how many you need to put up. And now we're going to take away two. How many is left? From seven, take away two. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, take away two, is five. Now we're going to do 10, take away five. Ready? Show me 10. Now, take away five. One, two, three, four, five. How many is left? Five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. High five. I remember five. Ten take away five is five. What about eight take away five? Ready? Eight. Put your eight fingers up. Take away five. One, two, three, four, five. How many is left? Three. Good job. Now we're going to do one more subtraction problem using our fingers. I have three take away zero. What's my first number? Three. I need to take away zero. Zero means nothing. So how many is left? Three. Good job. Our number did not get smaller. It just stayed the same because zero means nothing. So kindergartners, in your, in your packets, this is what you're going to practice. You're going to practice subtracting with your fingers. The boy is telling you one. He wants you to take away the number that you see. Once you take it away, write how many you have left on the space. Then you can turn it over and I've already gotten it started. You need to only count the pictures that do not have an X on the back and write your number. 